NSAG Doval and French presidential diplomatic adviser Emmanuel Bonn co-chaired the India-France strategic dialogue in Paris yesterday. Ahmed Vehicles Nigam Limited has released an expression of interest for the design and development of 400 plus horsepower power pack for BMP2 tracked combat vehicles. Indonesia is eyeing local production of Rafale F4 fighter jets. However, Dassault Aviation has said that the transfer of technology will take place if the country increases its fleet to 100 Rafale fighters. The Indian Air Force has selected MKU Limited's Netro NB3101 Aviation Night Vision Goggles for the Prachand helicopter. Under a 4.26 crore rupees contract signed for 550 ASME submachine guns, Lokesh Machines Limited has delivered the initial batch to the Indian Army. Indian firm AeroArc has completed the deliveries of 100 robotic mules to the Indian Army. Indian Army has signed a contract for procurement of generation of quantum secure key with Bangalore-based Q New Labs. Indian Army has signed MOU with IIT Delhi for the design and development of indigenous sensor-fused munitions for 155 mm howitzers. Under the Defence Testing Infrastructure Scheme, a new laboratory named Lens has been established, that will offer testing service on a cost basis to individuals and organizations across India to test their equipment. Hindustan Aeronautics has secured a landmark deal to supply civilian Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopters to the Oil and Natural Gas Corporation. After crucial wind tunnel tests conducted by the French National Aerospace Research Centre Onera, the Aeronautical Development Agency is set to further refine the design of the Tejas Mark II fighter jet. These tests by Onera have yielded critical data, that will influence the optimization of key components such as the canards and air intake, which will be incorporated into the upcoming prototypes of the Tejas Mark II. The Indian Navy is set to award a contract for the local manufacturing of six advanced diesel-electric submarines to Mazagin dock ship builders in partnership with Tissenkrip Marine Systems. The German submarine was selected over competing bids from the Spanish shipyard and Larsen and Tubro. The first submarine under the Project 75i, is expected to be delivered seven years from the date of contract signing. Even if the TED-BF program receives approval from the Cabinet Committee on Security, there are concerns about the economic viability of producing a small number of airframes. The massive research and development costs associated with the project might not be justified by a limited production run, which could potentially lead to a high cost per unit, which might not be feasible for the Indian Navy. Given these uncertainties, an alternative approach could be for the Navy to focus on acquiring more Rafale fighters, and working towards their indigenization. The Brazilian firm Embraer has assured the Indian Air Force of a high operational serviceability rate for its C-390M transport aircraft, and to guarantee a consistent supply of spare parts and maintain high serviceability. Embraer will establish a global supply chain in India in partnership with Mohindra Defence. The Brazilian Air Force operates six C-390M aircraft, that has reported a remarkable serviceability level of over 97%, and this impressive figure despite the relatively small fleet size, is a testament to the C-390M's reliability and Embraer's maintenance capabilities. Today's Top 3 Comments